Cause I made it up in my head I'm the back guy guy Yeah Tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Minnesota best record in the league. Not the conference, the league. They've been head and shoulders above the competition this season. 81 games down, only one left to go. Shaq, I got to tell you, feels like the regular season flew by. What's your takeaway? You know, I feel like the game changes every year, Ernie. More athletic. Staples Center. Welcome everyone to the sold out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. Sit back and enjoy this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kilmore and Greg Anthony. Taking a look at Minnesota, a superb ball club playing a great brand of basketball. Number one record right now in the NBA. Kevin, I don't think they're too worried about the winning streak coming to an end, especially if they just do what they've been doing, which is play good, solid, smart basketball at both ends of the floor. And given some of the other teams they've taken down during this streak, you've got to believe they're going to add one more to it tonight, as long as they don't come out here and lay an egg. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go on the court for Minnesota. The athletic duo of Levine and Wiggins on the perimeter. David Lee is out there with Towns, and it's Collins in at the point. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. And stolen by Free. Burks with the steal. Russell with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Bass with the screen. The drive by Russell. Puts up a three. The shot misses. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Coming into this, having nice to win against the Rockets in their last game. And the way they attacked the basket in that game was unreal. I mean, after a while, the defenders seemed to just wave the white flag. Yeah, like you said, I mean, that's what'll happen when a team continues to attack the basket and come away with layup. The defense tends to get demoralized and deflated. Now, here is Russell. 24.9 in the last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And also, he competed on the backboards. That also had a lot to do with okay. Collins against Russell. From outside the arc. That by Collins, no good. Los Angeles is gone. 0-2 from deep here. Now, here's Burks. He's guarded closely. Bass can't get it to go. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. How about the start that they've gotten off to here? Huge lead, and we're still in the first quarter. And, guys, it hasn't just been the scoring. I mean, they're playing tremendous defense, too. That's the bucket good. Defensively, that possession better not start as well because they just handed him two points. Oh, that's good. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when you're giving up those looks. Inside, here's Hibbert. Makes it off the glass. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Now, here is Russell. But his touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. All right. And let's run down for you the top three-point shooting point guards in the league this season. One, he is so exceptional from long range that it forces the defense out and really opens things up for him, which makes it easier for him to set up his teammates. Well, he's a prime example of why being a top-notch three-point shooter comes in handy for a point guard. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Nikola Pekovic has jumped in for time. Zhang comes in for David Lee. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Levine. Here's Collins. After Alec Burks' score, can't get it to go. Young outside and stolen by Wiggins. And Freak throws it down hard. And that's how the coach will draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. 
Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Now, here is Hill. 14 points from here the last game against Portland. That's good. Some other guys, but he will not count open ones like that. Here's Collins. Ten point lead. Tries it from the top of the key. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Oh, terrific move there. I think he may need to check those ankles. He's just left the defender on the ground. That is a highlight and a half, guys, or a highlight plus. Anytime you shake a guy out of his shoes like that, is going to make the rounds for sure. Here is Nance. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Picked by Moskov. Burks. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Not one second chance bucket allowed. That is finishing up a good defense. No clue to where that pass is going. That is a... Position now for Minnesota. Towns, he's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Lee comes in for Jang. Zach Levine's checked in for Gary Neal. And Collins subbed in for Ricky Rubio. So on the floor for Minnesota, the athletic duo of Levine and Wiggins on the perimeter. Towns is out there with David Lee, and it's Collins in at the one spot. That's good. Well, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Lakers trail by 13. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Rockets really lit up the floor. He ended up with 50 points, and there didn't seem to be much you could do to stop him, shooting efficiently from both the field and the foul line. What a show it was as he put up some really amazing numbers when it was all said and done. Even we marveled at his performance, Kevin. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought it was really incredible. Unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all on the floor. What's interesting to me, guys, is to see how much energy he's able to play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. And the Lakers with possession here. After the made shot by David Lee. Hill kicks to Russell. Shot clock at five. Here's Bass. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Timberwolves leading by 13. Here's Collins. A stupendous finish in traffic. Collins has got six points in the quarter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And stolen by Freak. A floater comes up empty down low. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. And stolen by Freak. And it's Wiggins missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's Bass, and they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And Freak throws it down. And how's that for some ups coming from that one? Well, he is a rarity among NBA point guards in his ability to elevate. Yeah, his athletic ability, guys, is really what takes him a notch above most players at his position. All right, a chance to check out the stats for free. He's been dominant over the last month. He's averaging 54 points and six assists. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense. You know, the scheme just seems to run much more smoothly when he's in the game because he knows where everybody is at all times. No good on the three. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. Gibber. Six the 11 footer. Cousins has got his first points of the game. Boy, can he finish in the paint. That's one thing we know he's good at. Screen by Lee. Move the ball. Collins against Hill. And again, shot good from Collins. Collins has got 27 points. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. For the three. Minnesota with the rebound. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. The 17-footer. Shot is off. And the Lakers going the other way now. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. And the issues they had defensively, in part, I thought, was a huge factor. Really 
compounded, I think, because it was a road game for them. Well, you know, they gave the crowd a bunch to cheer about. And when you do that, you put yourself in a really tough position trying to come away with a road win. The defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. The drive by Russell. Hibbert. Cousins trying to free himself up. Hibbert gets the bucket. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. Oh! That yeah. And guys, how fun is it watching this fella just go to work? Greg, right? it's not every point guard who can climb the ladder like he can. Not at all. Well, I tell you, I think his body control and concentration yeah. in the air are really unique. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Russell. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got four rebounds in this game. And a jam by Levine. A surreal alley-oop that time, partner. The pass, Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. And, and guys, it had to be because not nearly as easy a play as they made it look. Russell with a wide-open look. Again, Russell missing. Collins. The shot, no good. So, four Lakers, 24. The Timberwolves, 44. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. No slowing him down, just some incredible numbers for free. He's got 32 points, and he's added to his numbers by hitting four shots from the three-point line. And, and really now, you can tell the defense starting to have second thoughts in terms of how they're going to play him. That's 12 points from long range. an ugly loss for them last time playing these guys and really the rebounding differential was the key they got worked over on the boards that's about as plain as i can put it you can't leave your teammates on an island down there you need everybody going to the glass boy hibbert is out there with brandon bass then there's alec burks then it's Russell, and it's the front over the three slot that's the laker five here's collins after d'angelo russell's bucket they set the pick, and that will fall. The three-pointer on the line from Collins. Collins has got five points now in the quarter. The Lakers shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Feeds it to Hibbert, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. That one is on town. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And collectively, they're only about 73% as a unit right now. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. Now here's Freak. 37 points for him. And stolen by Russell. He feeds it to Bass. Uncovered. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. All right, just beautiful when they play the game like this. And now let's take a look at a breakdown of this season's best rebounding point guards. D'Angelo Russell fourth. And this is a unique group of players. It's not often we talk about the rebound leaders at the point, but with these guys, it's it's warranted because of just how well they do. And Greg, I think it gives them an edge over most of their counterparts at the point guard spot. I mean, desire, attitude, and they really look to mix it up. They're not afraid to do anything to help their team's cause. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Free. Collins has got three assists tonight. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Second shot opportunity. 
Bass can't get it to go. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases...